my friends, today we're going to be reading about the book Golden Retrievers. Golden Retrievers. Long ago, someone said that the dog was man's best friend. Now people say the Golden Retriever is everyone's best friend. Perhaps no breed of dog shows more affections toward the toward people than the handsome, tail wagging golden. Like other retriever breeds, the golden loves to fetch or retrieve. The re- love of retrieving is the part of golden's ex- extinct. Goldens are one of the so-called sporting or gun dog breeds. Goldens are trained by hunters to re- retrieve ducks, geese, and other game birds. Goldens are also one of the three birds commonly used as guide or seeing eye dogs. The great majority of golden retrievers are not working dogs. However, rather they are household companions. Their friendly nature makes them especially popular in homes with small small children. In recent years, Goldens have been the second most popular purebred dog in North America. In the United States and Canada, new registrations for Goldens trail only those of Labrador Retrievers. Lord Tweef Mouse was a wealthy Scotsman. He loved hunting and he loved hunting dogs. The common retrievers of Tweed Mouth Day had dark flat coats. Tweed Mouth wanted a handsome retriever with a long haired yellow coat. In 1868, Tweed Mouth Made a male yellow retriever with a male tweed water spaniel. The, their four pups weren't golden retrievers. They were, however, the beginning of the breed. Over the next several years, Tweed Mouth used the grown pups and several other dogs as parents. To use brand centers in Bloodhound and more retrievers, Tweed Water Spaniels. The Tweed Water Spaniel is now extinct. Many people consider Tweed Mouth's dog is just a yellow variety of the flat coated retriever. But in 1912, the the in the Club of England recognized the Golden Retriever as a breed. Lord Tweedmouth's son had brought Goldens to America by ni- 1900. Still, the American Kennel Club did not accept Goldens as a separate breed until 1927. Goldens have fine athletic builds similar to those of others retrievers. A well-bred golden has a broad head with wide floppy ears and a fairly square muzzle. Long hair helps separate goldens from yellow Labrador retrievers. Goldens wear a fringe of hair called feathers along their legs, underside and tail. The coats of golden retrievers range from red gold to nearly white. A dense undercoat lies beneath the long outer coat. Almost always good nature goldens demand human attention. A golden 
retriever begins wagging its tail each time a woman appears. A golden seems to welcome everyone as a new friend. Generally, generally, adult humans are calm. Relaxed dogs that bark little, but they are athletic dogs with plenty, plenty of energy. They love to swim, run, romp, play, fetch, and sniff about the woods. Goldens are eager, easy learners. They love to please their human masters. They do very well in obedience tests where they follow a variety of commands. Each breed of dog has certain standards. Standards include each into include such things as proper height, weight, color, and shape. Many goldens are entered in shows that judge how closely they meet the breed standards.